are lucky to have a message from President Obama. I'm going to read it now. Though I could not attend your gathering today due to pressing budgetary negotiations, I want to stress the importance of Tuli Kupferberg in preserving America against dangerous foreign entanglements. Tuli Kupferberg belongs in the great American Hall of Fame alongside Davy Crockett, James Madison, Elias Howe, inventor of the sewing machine, Ella Fitzgerald, Jeffrey Lewis, and other indisputable heroes of our hallowed nation. Nice of him. <laughs> and everybody hates him. I give you Jeffrey Lewis. things to me and he meant a lot of different things to a lot of different people. Um, to me he was in a lot of ways for one thing sort of like a village elder of the neighborhood and um, that was that was a, a, a I don't know if every maybe, um, and it makes me wonder if every neighborhood in New York City might have some character like that. I don't know. Perhaps perhaps there's you mean the Thule of the neighborhood? Yeah, that's uh, or the what the uh, whoever of that neighborhood that, that uh, expresses the particular spirit of that neighborhood. These people might be out there. Thule Midtown. <laughs> this is a song that Thule assigned to me and I've been trying to figure out how to play it ever since then. And it's one that he never recorded himself. And um, it is one of his para songs based on an old melody, but it's not a humorous para song. It's, um, uh, so I don't know if you could call it a para song. I'm not sure what you would call it. But here's where I've gone with it so far. When I was a young man a long time ago Through blue Moscow nights in deep snow We would talk and dream And we'd walk and ski Our utopian hearts all the glow Thank you. 
actually recorded in the 80s. I'm not sure when he wrote it. I really don't have a clue to it all now that I've reached my winter, my fall. I'm not very sure of it all at all. Oh, it started in Ovo. It all was so Novo. So fresh and so rare and so nice. It ended in Parvo. No matter how I strove, it ended in wrinkles and vice. And all that I know is that. rejected Paris songs. Now, some of them were rejected for perfectly good reason, because uh, they're uh, eminently rejectable. Here is uh, my version of uh, Frank Zappa's Help, I'm a Rock, done as Help, I'm a Rack. Help, I'm a Rack. Help, I'm a Rack. It sure is a drag being a Rack. That's the whole Frank Zappa song. This is my version of Bob Dylan's Isis, done as Midlife Crisis. I had a midlife crisis on the fifth day of May. I could not believe I'd been living so long. I'd lost all my hair, had a dumb job for low pay. Life seemed a wild, unknown country where I could only do wrong. I'd come to a low place of darkness and gloom. A dividing line ran between the future and past. Behind were all wasted years, ahead was the tomb. If I was gonna do any living, I'd have to do it fast. A man at the hair club approached me for a match. He knew right away I was Trey Ordinary. He said, are you looking for adventure, fame, and snatch? I said, I got no money. He said, it ain't necessary. We set out that night for the warmth and the south. I gave up my girlfriend, he gave up his wife. He said, there's a bungee jump I wanna try out. It was then that I knew that we'd start a new life. And this is uh, the traditional tune of John Henry, done as John Kerry, um, since I thought it was uh, appropriate for uh, the American legend who lost his life in an underdog battle against the steam engine. I know that Thule was anti any president, but uh, I thought this one might have a life as a parasong. John Kerry was a semi-weirdo. He looked strange and didn't always make sense. But we were going down the tubes and we needed a different dude. So we wanted John for president. Yeah, we wanted John for president. 
John Kerry told Dick Cheney, Cheney, you better pray. I don't put your email address on that moveon.org list, because they'll send you emails every day. Yeah, they'll send you emails every day. We went out to Philly and the suburbs, and across the Pennsylvania state. Came the buses from New York to knock on doors and talk, and we convinced them of our candidate. Yeah, Pennsylvania chose our candidate. Yes, we can be proud of swinging Pennsylvania. Volunteers went to Ohio, too. But Ohio was, I guess, too deep in the clutch of the Midwest, and the buses that went were too few. The buses that we sent were too few. John Kerry fought an uphill battle, just like against a steam engine. He was an underdog and brave, but Ohio was his grave, and we're all sad that he didn't win. Yeah, we're all sad that he didn't win. And this is uh, the 1968 hit by It's a Beautiful Day, the song White Bird, rewritten as Mouse Turd. <laughs> Mouse Turd on the kitchen plate, in the coffee mug in the morn. Mouse Turd from the night mouse ass is born. Mouse Turd in the artist pad. Makes the artist mad every day, but the mouse turd appears on his stuff anyway. Mouse turd must sit where mice will shed. Management jacks the rent yearly. There's no security in this hole, but the mouse turd just sits. The mice have rent control. The tenants come, the tenants split. What was a slum is now a hit. But at midnight here, the same old scoop. Mice will poop. Mouse turd, a familiar sight. After every night through the ages. But the mouse turd never fails to seem so outrageous. And this is uh, Cats in the Cradle by Sandy and Harry Chapin, redone as Crap in the Bible. An evangelist I saw just the other day, he came on the TV in the usual way. I was only watching during Simpsons commercial breaks. He promised God would rain down fire and tsunami quakes. He was talking pretty scary, and as he yelled, he said, Send the sinners all to hell, God. The sinner's gonna go to hell. And there's crap in the Bible, and the greedy goons freak you out when they shout about impending doom. God is coming soon, and we don't know when, but God will fix your wagon then. Yeah, God will get some stuff done then. We heard our president just the other day say, for your kids in my army, you should all now pray. Can you believe this medieval crap? We said, no way. You should give them guns, not you should give them condoms, not guns. But he brushed us away after the war. He said. I'll work on progress and science. For now, here's faith-based initiatives instead of health insurance. And he walked away, but his smile never dimmed, thinking God is going to validate him. Yeah, thinking God is going to validate him. And there's crap in the Bible, and the greedy goons freak you out when they shout about impending doom. God is coming soon, and we don't know when, but God will get some stuff done then. Yeah, God will get some stuff done then. God ain't been seen in a while, some say he's dead. I called him up the other day, god damn, he said, I'd love to do some miracles if I could find the time. But you made your own wars and pollution slime. It's been nice talking if you want to stay in touch, but you can see that I don't do much. Yeah, it's up to you, because I don't do much. And then the one that he did like, uh, which, uh, I've done live a few times since then, having gotten the Thule stamp for approval, was the, um, my back page is done as the global warming parasong, which is a... Now, of course, these are all much more effective if you can actually sing the real melodies that the songs are supposed to be based on. Sorry, I'm not, they, they, lose a, they, they lose a little bit of effectiveness done in this monotone, but what can you do? So, uh, way back when, in 1910, the snow fell deep and wide, from the Throg's Neck Bridge down to Bay Ridge and over the Lower East Side. Grandparents and tenements, the winter froze and how, but it was somewhat colder then, it's warmer than that now. In 22, the cold wind blew when January came. To hear them say it, January today is May by another name. You'd freeze your ass till winter passed, each day for weeks they'd plow, but it was somewhat colder then, it's warmer than that now. 
In 45, you couldn't drive and march through the Borscht Belt. If they saw it today, I'm sure they'd say it's a Leibetika Belt. We have it easy, it's warm and breezy, but it seems wrong somehow that it was somewhat colder then and it's warmer than that now. By 60s times, the warming climbs alarmed environmentalists, whether in sandals with beards and candles or university scientists. From the far out margin to the mainstream jargon, one idea with strength they would endow, that it was somewhat colder then and it's warmer than that now. More and more malls and aerosols and smokestacks of industry. It's simple math and you don't have to be the type who'd hug a tree. But still the CEO said let it go as he mopped his sopping brow. So what if it was colder then and it's warmer than that now? Now in these mad flood scenes from New Orleans, who knows what part was played by distant ice caps, ozone gaps, and creeping centigrade. The thing that's sure is nature's pure, no games will it allow, and that it was somewhat colder then, and it's warmer than that now. We laugh at tribal chiefs with quaint beliefs, we're smart and scientific. The western sieve in which we live is turning out terrific. We say superstition blind we've left behind, but profit is our sacred cow, and that cow don't care if it's cooked medium rare, and it's warmer than that now. And that goes on, 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 on. And I'll leave you with one uh, more quick thing. Um, I uh, played play some shows in upstate New York over the weekend, and as sometimes happens, often at shows, people give you their CDs, they give you their poetry books, and they give you their homemade comic books. And I was reading this one poetry chapbook that this guy gave me. It didn't even have his name on it, or contact information, or address, or anything. And it was sort of a, it was a very nice little collection of different stanzas. And there was one of them, that suddenly struck me. I said that Tully would have this would have made his list of perverbs, perhaps. This is a uh, this is this is one for the the endlessly growing list of Tully Kufferberg perverbs. Uh, if only I can remember what it, what it was. Uh, if you drink too much, you get drunk. If you spend too much, you'll end up spent. And if you buy too much, you end up bought. <laughs> Sounds like it would make a list of perverbs. No. So. I love you so much, Tuli. I'll never forget you. And uh, I think about you every day. And you, all of you people who are so great, I think about all of you too.